So you want to make a TV screen, hey? Well, I've got Cinema 4D and Octane already open. Here's what you do. Select here, plane. Select my plane, go to object. Let's make it the size I want, 1920 by 1080. Make the orientation minus Z. Go to the coordinates, make the Y position 1080 divided by two to drop it up. Select here to put a background, uh, sorry, a ground plane in. And then I'm going to go grab a little mini figure. So now I've got a huge TV that I would never be able to afford. Right click in the Octane window, create material glossy, double click, make the diffuse black and the roughness 0.2. I'm going to drag that onto my ground plane and refresh Octane. Objects, lights, Octane daylight. So I can get a really emphasized look at how this will affect the figure. I'm going to take the power down to zero. So I've got nothing now. Let's right click again, make a new material, this time a diffuse. Let's double click it, turn off the diffuse, go to emission, black body emission, go into that, texture, C4D octane, image texture, Select the image texture, go find your image you want to be on the TV screen. I'm going to select the first image there, which is a gradient. I'm going to drag that onto the plane, and there we have it. What I like to do is I go up one level, I turn on surface brightness, and I take the power down to one. That just gives me a nice thumbnail representation here, but you can leave it the other way if you like. If you want this to be an animated texture, go to animation and it only works with image sequences. So you might've seen before I had a sequences of images, 149 frames long. So that's the end of my frames and that's it. So if I scrub along now, you can see that it's playing all those frames and that's it. If I zoom in, you can see got a nice light fall off from the image, but I have a problem. If I double click my emission, go to black body. If I want to increase that light, so my little character has more light on him, maybe that's way too much. Let's just take it down to 10. So it was one before, it's 10 now. If I zoom back out, you can see my image is blowing out far too much. So let's take that back to one. No problem. What we can do is copy and paste that plane. Copy, copy and paste the texture, drop it on so it's got a new texture. Turn off that original one. I'm going to right click on this new plane. C4D Octane Tags Object Tag and come down to Visibility tab camera visibility. So now it's turned off the visibility of the object, but we still have the emission of the light. So now I take that one up to 10, how I like it. And then I turn on my original one. It is, the original one is blocking because they're in exactly the same space. So let's take the Z to minus one. So now we have more light as before after, before, after. So now we have more light in our figure and scene, but the TV plane is exactly how we want it. And that's it. Hope it helps guys. See you later.